What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Hybrid Squad Builder series. Now, hopefully this team will give you a new team that you guys can go out and build and it will be perfect for you. Um, it's going to be something completely different. It's got around four leagues in it um, and also many, many nationalities. You know, it's, I think it's pretty endless um, how many nationalities there are in, in this team. But, um, you know, just I really, really enjoyed playing this with this team. Um, I loved making it as well. And I really wanted to just do a sort of comeback episodes for the Hybrid Squad Builders. I know the past few Hybrid Squad Builders haven't really been up to scratch. And I'm sorry for that, but this episode will be up to scratch. Um, and if it isn't, then I don't know what else I can do, um, if, I'm on, if I'm honest. But, um, yeah, let's move on to the goalkeeper now. As you see here, we are using the 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, we've got Thomas Kujak in goal. Probably not the most well the goalkeeper that you would expect me to have in there um, but he's got decent stats since he has got 78 diving 72 handling 81 reflexes and 73 positioning really really good goalkeeper and for like 550 coins you can't really go wrong the first centre back now is going to be the informed Jose Fonte um, and see here he's got 67 pace 78 defending and 80 heading um, one of them players where you know he only costs me like a 22k or something like that um, and he's really really good for his price you know I definitely recommend him the only bad thing about him is his dribbling and his passing they are his two standout like let down stats but um you know other than that really really good player and i definitely recommend him uh the second center back now is going to be amugali um or amugu yeah amugu i think that's how you pronounce it um but he's actually got quite a lot of pace on him he's got 75 pace and 69 defending and 72 heading really quite a good player for um how much i paid for him i think i only paid like 1000 coins for him um he definitely is a player which i think you guys should try out if you are going to be building this team so Let's move on to the right back now and see here we have got Angbra. Um I think that's pronounced right, I'm not too sure. I've used him in a few of my other hyper school builders as well. Um, seeing as he is in the Russian League and I do sort of tend to go that way um, a few times. But, um, you know, he's a really good player. He only cost me as in C uh, 2,400,000 2, coins as well. Um, so a really, really good player. And I think he also has 91 pace, which is outstanding. And also 70 defending and 70 heading, which is pretty amazing for a silver right back. Um, let's move on to the left back now. As I can see here, we've got Fabio Quentrao. Could have got the inform El Messi. Um, or Elise, whatever you want to call him. Um, he is the player for, I think he plays for like Real Sociedad or something like that, but he isn't in form. Um, I could have got the in form Fabio Coentrao, but a lot of people complain um, when I do squad builders that they're too expensive, I couldn't afford them, so I just went with the normal goal version. But of course, if you do have enough coins, then you can buy the in form version of Fabio Coentrao. Um, but he only cost me 2,000 coins, as you can see here, which is kind of over expensive for him, um, but nevertheless, he is a good player and I would pay that for him anyway. Let's move on to the first and defensive bid now, as you can see here. We've got Real Morales. Um, he's a really good player. He's not, like, amazing, but he's just one of them players which I think can, you know, sort of do the job in centre defensive mid. He's not really... Um pacey enough I wouldn't say for a centre attack mid so that's why I've got him here and he's here for chemistry reasons as well um, you know nevertheless he does play very well there anyway um, let's move on to the second centre defensive mid now as you can see here we've got Alexandra Song really really good player um, he has actually just completed his move to Barcelona now so he will probably get an upgraded um, card when he moves to Barcelona on FIFA uh, he's got 72 pace 72 passing 76 dribbling 84 defending and 8 and 74 heading um, like them stats are so good. Um, I remember getting him at the very start of the game and having him in my team, but then selling the team straight away and never using him. So this is really the first time I've ever really used this player, and I just have to say he's really, really good. Um, from my experience, he's just played really, really well, um, and I would recommend him if you have got the coins. Uh, he cost me, as you can see here, 2,800 coins, which is pretty decent, as he is a default centre mid, I think, um, or he might be a default centre -like mid, but I'm not too sure. But let's move on to the first centre -like mid now. As you can see here, we have got Danny. Um, of course, he's going to be on the left-hand side. He has five-star skills as well. Could get the inform Danny, but I didn't have enough coins um, for this team, so had to go with the normal Danny. Uh, he only cost me as well 1,100 coins, which is very cheap for a player of his calibre. Uh, he's got 83 pace, 75 shootings, 81 passing, and 86 dribbling. Really, really good stats there for an 84-rated card. Let's move on to the final centre tag mid now. As you can see here, we've got Samuel Eto. Picked him up really, really cheap. Um, 16,750 coins is very cheap for his player um, especially when you get him in a centre cent attack mid you know you'd expect to be playing you know around 24k for him um, I got him in like the f I think it was 5 hours and 59 minutes so someone had obviously just put him up for 6 hours so I got really really lucky indeed um, but yeah 16,750 
16,750 coins for him is really, really good. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how um, he plays because I think a lot of you will have used him before and stuff like that. So let's move on to the centre forward now. And really the star of the team that I've you know found out um, is going to be Diego Tardelli. Now, this is the first time I've ever used this guy. He's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot, 85 pace, 74 shooting, and 81 dribbling for a 76 rated card. My god, he is amazing. Um, just finishes everything in front of the goal. A really good, powerful shot um, as well. Only cost me 550 coins, which is even um, you know that much better. I played against a few of my mates as well um, with this team, and you know he just stood out so well um, in this team. Even though he's a 76 rated card, so I definitely do recommend him if you have the coins. Let's move on to the striker now and the final player on our team. We have got Inform Wagner Love, um, the player that I actually I'm going to be doing a um, a new series on, and you know it's going to change. The player's going to be changing. Every Every series but this guy is going to be in the first episode um, he's got 90 pace 84 shooting 62 passing and 85 dribbling they are his four standout stats um, he cost me around 40k or so and my god he is amazing he's got so much pace really good finishing he's just got the whole package guys um, and I would recommend him highly so that's gonna be it guys for today's episode if you have enjoyed it so far then please do drop a like hopefully you guys will enjoy the goals I tried to score some skill goals and you know just some a whole mixture of goals so I think you guys will enjoy them and the music has changed as well um, I'm actually using noise storm if any of you have heard of him, uh, but I'm not going to be using some of the songs that you know you see a lot around the FIFA community. So there will be some new songs in there um, as well. If you want to go check out his YouTube channel, the link to that will be in the description. Um, to all his music and stuff like that it is really, really good. So thanks for watching, guys. 750 likes would be absolutely class, and 